Hello, this is Fish and come today again to encourage us. Especially this time of coronavirus, I want to say to you and I and everybody under the sound of my voice, do not fear. Do not fear. For God is in charge. Lord of all, he is the King of kings, the Lord of lords, the great I am. He has not given us spirit of fear, but he has given us love, power and sound mind. God himself said in his word, unless the Lord builds a house, the laborer or the builder labors in vain. It's in Psalm 127. And unless the Lord watches over a city, the watchman watches in vain. So for us, is for us to depend on God in this time. And this is a great opportunity and a great uh, moment for God to display his power, to show us all that indeed he is the creator of everything. That he created heaven and earth and everything in it for his own pleasure. Fear is a, a weapon the devil uses to invade a life. Because when we fear, we lose focus. When we fear, we have anxiety. When we fear, it weakens us. We are not able to pray. When we fear, it's like we are saying we believe. That that thing we fear will happen in our life. But God in his word says, have faith in God. Have faith in me. He said, do not let your heart be troubled. Trust in me. Don't let your heart be troubled. Trust in me. Do not fear. I will help you. God himself, who has sacrificed his only son, his only son for the whole world because of his love. What, what can he not do? So in this time, God is waiting for us to open our mouth and cry out to him. If you call upon the name of the Lord, you shall be saved. This is his word. It is a beautiful time for us who say we believe in Jesus Christ. We believe in the Lord. He said, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ that has come to tabernacle in any believer that believe. What is he doing in our life? The power of God. The one that say he is the head of all principalities and power. Which means he is the head of all spirit behind coronavirus. Yet he lives in us. What are we doing with that power? What are we doing with that authority he has given us? He said, Christ in you, the hope of glory. Christ in you is the ability of God in you. Christ in you is the fullness of God in you. Christ in you is the authority of God over Satan, over sickness, over coronavirus. Anything we say no to, God endorses it as no. Anything we say yes to, God endorses it and say yes. Because he has given he, us his word. He said, whatever we allow on earth shall be allowed in heaven. Whatever we disallow on earth shall be disallowed in heaven. If we truly believe the word of God. When he said it, it's us to say, you know, no to coronavirus. No to his, his spreading. No to his killing. No to Corona across the whole world. We say we disallow it. We say we bind the spirit of coronavirus. And so shall it be. Because God and his word is one. God is his word. It's his word he used to create the world. It's his word he used to the, the, raise the dead. When Lazarus was dead for four days, what happened? When he spoke, Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. Lazarus, the dead, had the word of God and raised from dead. 
This is the time for us who believe in the word, who believe in Jesus Christ, who say we have Christ in us, who say we have the authority of God in us, to begin to prophesy, to begin to make decrees. Because we have been made kings and prince unto him. Kings make decree and when they make decree, that decree stands forever. The decree we make on earth is established in the supreme court of God in heaven. That nothing shall change that. He said we shall decree a thing and it shall be established for us. It's for us to open our mouth to decree. Do not fear. When we fear, we open ourselves up for devil to attack us. When we fear, we, we lose the, 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 the strength in, in, to, to, to continue. But God says, do not fear. Do not be afraid for God is here. Do not be afraid for all things will always work together for good for those that believe in God. Those that love him and are called according to his purpose. Everything will always work together. Be encouraged today. Be encouraged. Have you ever experienced at times you have been looking for a particular item you didn't see it and next time that you are looking for another item you see the one that you have been looking for before. The same in every challenge we face there are lessons to learn there is growth for us. There is elevation. Without challenge and conquering it, there is no glory. It is true that all of us wants, we want the glory of God. We want the glory of God. We want the glory of God. We want to, to, to move from glory to glory, to faith, from faith to faith. Glory to glory means that you are conquering challenges. Glory to glory means that you're defeating coronavirus. Glory to glory means you're defeating disease and sickness. Glory to glory is that you're standing tall in the face of all challenge. To know that he that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. Remember that you have been made more than conqueror, which means you have gone beyond conquering. Remember that it is not you. But it is Christ that lives in you. The power of God that nobody can prevail over. No demon can prevail over. In fact, he has given us authority to cast out demon. The coronavirus is a demon. It's a demon, it's a spirit. And until we detonate it in the realm of the spirit, until we disarm his ability in the realm of the spirit. Whatever we see on earth is a manifestation of what has gone forth in the realm of the spirit. For the realm of the spirit controls the physical. Most often, we look at the, the symptoms and try to deal with the symptoms. Somebody is angry. We are saying this is angry. No, there's a spirit of anger in that person. That needs to be bound. That needs to be cast out. And allow the spirit of God to fill that person. Amen. So do not fear. This too shall pass away. Do not fear. We open our mouth and begin to decree. As kings and prince unto God. Do not fear. We decree and it shall come to pass. In the name of Jesus. Don't forget that for anybody who ever believes in Jesus Christ, the mark of Jesus Christ is on you. Satan knows you. Satan knows the ability you have. Satan knows the power you have. Satan knows that you have authority over sickness. You have authority over disease. It is when we come to the fullness of the understanding of our identity in the Lord. Know who we are in Christ. Know who we, what we have in Christ. Know we, what we can do in Christ. Remember he said, I can do all things. Through Christ that strengthened me. Not through my strength, but Christ that strengthened me. 
Where is that Christ? In me. Where is that Christ? In you. This is the mystery of Christianity. That God has come to tabernacle in anyone that believes. And don't forget that he, does, he did not hate the world. And he doesn't hate the world. The Bible tells us in John 3.16 that God so love, so love, so love the world that he gave his son to die for all of us that whosoever shall believe will not perish but have eternal life. Eternal life is God's life. Eternal life is the life of eternity. Eternal life is the life of righteousness. Eternal life is the life without sickness and disease. Eternal life is the life of over authority over demons. In Mark 16, he said, This sign shall follow those who believe. God has pre created us in such a way, in such a oneness with Him, such a union with Him, in power and in everything, to manifest as Himself on earth. Jesus Christ has reproduced himself in anyone who, that would dare believe. Christ in you is the Jesus Christ in you. Christ in you is the fullness of God in you. What are we doing without Christ? What are we doing without authority? What are we doing without power? What are we doing? God has given us power and said, go, cast out demon. Cast out the coronavirus. Declare you cannot come near this place. Declare you cannot uh, 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 ravish the whole city, the whole country, the whole world. Declare it. Because God has given us authority over all. It's not our authority. It is Christ that lives in us. Whosoever is joined together with the Lord is one spirit with him. According to his word. In 1 Corinthians 6, 17, one spirit, which means there's no other spirit you have, but the spirit of the living God. So I encourage us, I stay us up in faith to arise. The world is waiting for us, for answers. The economy, the health of the world, the issue concerning coronavirus, the world is looking for answers. And we Christians, we have the answer. We have the answer because Jesus Christ is the answer. As the name of Jesus, every knee bows. We are the representative of Christ on earth. And the Bible tells us, as he is, so are we in this world. As he is, how is Jesus? Jesus moves in authority. How is Jesus? Jesus does not have sickness and disease in his body. How is Jesus? When he appears, darkness disappears. How is Jesus? When death see him, death bows. How is Jesus? When he speaks to the blind, the blind see, the lame walk. This is who you are. This is who we are. And I'm encouraging everybody. If you have not made Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, he is knocking. At the, the door of your heart. Because the death he died. He did not die for himself. He died for you. He died for me. The resurrection was for, for us. The power and authority. In heaven and earth that was given to him. He did not lose his power. He did not lose any authority. It was us. That lost authority and power over on the earth. It was us. That he rose for. It was us, in fact, it was us that rose with him. Because he stood with our life is hidden in him. When he stood as sin of man, it was us in the eyes of God and in the face of the supreme God of, the, of heaven. It was the whole world that went on trial. It was the whole world that was judged. It was the whole world that was condemned. It was the whole world that was crucified on, on the cross. It was the whole world that went to hell. It was the whole world that now rose a new creation. When Jesus Christ rose, this is the mystery of Christianity. This is the mystery of who we are in Christ. 
So all things indeed have passed away. Everything in us has become new. New means that everything about whoever accepts this gift of life, a new being is born. God describes him as born of God, not born of man, not born of man's decision, not born of sperm and egg from husband and wife. No, it's born by the spirit of the living God, born of God, which means there's a change of address. There's a change of place. Our descent is from of Christ. Christ is our place of abode. The Bible tells us our lives are hidden in Christ and God. If indeed we believe it, that our lives are hidden in Christ and God, we are with coronavirus. Find us. We are will the effect of it. Find us. Is for us to align our mindset, align our thoughts life with what the word say. He say he's our refuge. He's our fortress. He's our advocate. He says in his word, a thousand shall fall at our, at our, at our side. Ten thousand at our right hand. But it shall not come near us. He said, with only our eyes shall we look and see the punishment of the wicked. If we believe it, the word of God does not change. The word of God stands forever. The word of God, the Bible says, heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of God will not pass away. I give you another example. Abraham. When Abraham was childless for how many years? Childless. But the Bible tells us, not only God changed his name from Abraham to Abraham. The power of spoken words. So that he will align him with that which was already spoken concerning him. That he will be father of many nations. He changed the, the name of the wife as well. And Abraham began to answer that name. As that name Abraham is pronounced. It is the, being established every day. Father of many nations. The same. I know that in the news. They say negative, negative, negative. It is if you watch the news. Because the, the, the one that will make news is negative. But that negative is like prophesying, cursing. It's like cursing the earth more and more. Because what we say is what we see. When uh, uh, God brought animals before Adam, whatever Adam called the animal, he began, he became. The power in spoken words. We are not ordinary people. We are children of the Most High God. We are spirit being on earth. So everything we see have life in it. Everything we say have power in it. So it's for us to begin. How many, pe how many people have they told us that recover for coronavirus? Why will it be only those that are intensive care? Only those that are dying? Only those that are, 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 are texting positive? They will, they will keep on saying. Why would they not balance the news? Why would they not show us People that have beat the virus. So that we shall be encouraged more and more. That is the a, a, a plan of the enemy. To feed the nation. To feed the nation. To bring fear. When it brings fear, it affects the economy. It affects the, the state of mind of the mom, mom or the dad. It affects the children. And it begins to attack attack economy attack health of people with stress attack with a high blood pressure no we say no we know who we are we say no we know that god is our covering we say no that jesus christ had died even for every sin that anybody has ever done we say no as we raise the blood of jesus up in the realm of the spirit against satan against his activity against coronavirus and say this is an evidence 
that the price has been paid for all the lives across the whole world. That you cannot take their life anymore. You cannot invade and attack people anymore. For Jesus Christ paid the price that none shall die. Believe. None shall have coronavirus. Believe. We present the blood of Jesus as an evidence that it is over Satan. It is over demons. It is over coronavirus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to be stayed in faith. Refuse. Because what you refuse on earth, God endorses for you. What you say no to, he says no to. What you allow, he allow. When somebody, for instance, when somebody, when you hear a knock at your door, in your place, it's only when you open the door where the person comes in. If you don't open the door, the person will not the, 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 and allow this person in. The person will not come in. The same. Coronavirus has come to knock at our door. The door of our heart. The door of our mind. The door of our body. The door of our economy. For us to begin to shake for coronavirus. When we have great I am. When we have the king of kings. When we have the one that created everything including coronavirus. Which is Jesus Christ. Why will you fear? Why would we be afraid? I say, fear not, for the Lord is with you. Be thou not dismayed, for he is your God. He is your God, remember. He sacrificed his only son for you. So what will he not do? He will protect you. He will protect your family. He will protect your money. He will protect the economy. If we believe... The thing with God is that you have to believe. Because believing opens your heart to embrace his word. To walk with him. Because he is God. He is the word. So without the word, he cannot function. Without the word, he cannot do anything. That is why he said in Jeremiah 1, 12. That he watches over his word to perform it. He said in his word, Psalm 119, verse 89, that his word stands forever. So let us trust today in his word. That as he says in Job 22, 28, he said, Decree 18, and it shall be established today. Let us decree and let it be established. Amen. So let us pray. Father, we thank you for this great opportunity to see your hand at work across the whole world. We thank you that this has even brought the whole world as unity to the whole world because we are fighting the same enemy. We thank you, O oh God, for the blood of Jesus that has been shed for everyone on earth. Lord, we thank you for solution you have, O oh God, provided for this thing. We thank you, O oh God, that even in darkness, light is dawning for us in the name of Jesus. We bless your holy name. We refuse to fear. We refuse to be discouraged. We trust in you. We trust in you, Lord. We thank you that by this time, the end of March, that coronavirus will not spread anymore. By this time, end of March, as we decree it, Father, it will be history in the name of Jesus. There shall be no more death. There shall be no more spreading. There shall be no more cases, new cases. In the name of Jesus, you have said to us, decree 18, and it shall be established. We stand on your word and made the decree. We decree salvation of souls across the whole world. We decree, O oh God, that Jesus Christ will elevate you above everything, above coronavirus. We decree that every family is under the umbrella of the name of Jesus. We decree, O oh God, that the blood of Jesus covers the whole earth. We decree the economy of every nation we are. My God, there's a recovery, speedy recovery in the name of Jesus. Every door that has been opened, by fear for enemy to attack 
the health of people, attack the economy of people, we shut that door in Jesus' name. We seal it with the blood of Jesus. We speak over those lives. We say strength has come. Health has come. Recovery has come. Those that are in ventilator, Lord, we call the breath of life of God to saturate them. Saturate their lungs. Breath of life of God. Breath of life of God. Breath of life of God. Fill them. For the doctors and nurses that are in, in the front, my God of all this, we ask, we decree protection over their life. We decree that no more doctors will die. No more nurses will die. No more paramedics will die. Father, we thank you. As we decree, we thank you, you have established it in the name of Jesus. We speak abundance. We speak health. We speak, oh God, love and joy and peace upon every home in the name of Jesus. For those that are, oh God, in government, for the, the, the prime ministers of the country and president of the country. Father, for Donald Trump that is in USA, for uh, Boris that is in UK, my God for Netanyahu that is in Israel and all other prime ministers and, uh, 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 and presidents. You have committed us to pray for those in authority so that it shall be well with us. Lord, give them wisdom. When they open their mouth, fill them with the right word to, to speak. Father, give them wisdom. The police, give them wisdom. Protect them. Father, everyone in any phase of the uh, sphere of authority across the whole world, we commit their heart in your hand and say, Oh God, may they walk like you. May they talk like you. May they, oh God, deliver your agenda in every nation in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God. We bless your holy name. We call those that are sick because of this virus, we call them healed in the name of Jesus. Those that are in hospital, we call them discharged home in good health in the name of Jesus. Father, those that have lost loved ones in all this, we ask you to comfort them. We ask you that they will feel your presence. They will know that you have not left them. You have not forsaken them. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. I pray, O oh God, and I bind every spirit of fear. I cast every spirit of fear that has been released, my God, to attack the minds of people. Through news, through, my God, social media, through information, negative information, every information released from this day onwards, we release the blood of Jesus and destroy the negative impact in the life of people in the name of Jesus. Father, O oh God, we release your word over the nation, word of salvation, word of healing, and declare it is well with every family. It is well with every individual. It is well with every city. It is well with every nation. In the name of Jesus, help has come. You are the helper. Help has come. You are the helper. Thank you, O oh God that you have bound that spirit of coronavirus and every of his demon that he has come with, dead, spirit of death, is bound in the name of Jesus. We cast them into the abyss. We saturate the whole universe with the angels of the Most High God. We saturate the universe with the love of Christ. We saturate the universe with the light of God. We say, let there be light. Let there be light. In USA. Let there be light in Europe. Let there be light in Asia. Let there be light in China. Let there be light in Israel. Let there be light in Africa. Let there be light in the whole world. For your, you are the light of the world. Jesus Christ, we honor you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you, if you have not given your life to Jesus Christ, he died for you. He loved you so much. He died for you that you will not struggle in life. Even when challenges come, because you, are, he, you have made him your anchor, there's strength, there's confidence, there's power. You see yourself overcoming something that you did not know you will overcome. You see yourself overcoming. 
being a victor that you did not know you you see yourself being improved if you are somebody that used to be angry you see yourself as you the, the uh, uh, as you renew your mind in his word you see yourself removing those anger because he said that anger resides in the lap of a fool that's the word of god anger in the lap of a fool when we are angry we say things that we will regret when we are angry we open door for enemy to attack because when we are not angry we can think straight we can plan straight we can strategize we can uh, defend our uh, territory but when we are not when we are angry we open door every things that are coming out of our mouth we are giving devil a foothold to deal with us so you see that when we come to Jesus Christ as we learn who we are as we learn the word of God he builds our patience he builds our love for one another he builds our uh, self control that we are not driven by emotion anymore we become more and more like him and as we become more and more like him we express ourselves like him amen so today if you have not received that love that God has for you in Christ if you have not received that righteousness in Christ you have not received that eternal life in Christ this is your opportunity and pray this prayer a minute from your heart the bible says in Romans 10:9 if you confess with your mouth Jesus is lord and believe with your heart that he was raised from dead for your justification that you shall be saved so pray this prayer a minute from your heart lord jesus i believe that you died for me and i believe that you were raised from dead for my justification today i make you my lord and my savior in the name of jesus holy spirit saturate my life i receive you today as my teacher as my counselor as my guidance in the name of jesus i am born again i am a child of god amen amen i tell you what the angels the bible said that there is party there is a rejoicing in heaven for just one soul that come to christ so just picture that there is rejoicing in heaven heaven is rejoicing for you god is rejoicing that at last that you have come to receive the life he has prepared for you as you read the word of god he begins to unveil to you who you are to know that you are special to know that you are more than beautiful to know that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world to know that now that you are born of god he say well, whosoever is born of god overcomes the world so which means that and for all of us who have been born of god the god has wired us to overcome every challenge of life to overcome amen so you are blessed for life i bless everyone under the sound of my voice i pray for you and i pray for your family i decree and declare that you are blessed i decree and declare open heaven over you i decree and declare that that which god has done for you that which you have not experienced that the blessing that god has for you that he has marked for you to enjoy from the day you were born to this day that you have not enjoyed I decree that today you are recovered all in the name of Jesus. I pray for your health. I decree that you have good health. I pray for your family, love and peace to saturate. I pray for husband and wife that the love that God has that the release in husband and wife will be so much so much evident in your life. That husband will love his wife. the wife will be submissive to the husband that together you will do the mandate of god upon your life your children i call them blessed 
in the name of Jesus. The works of your hands I call bless. Those that have uh, not been going to work because of this, I pray for supernatural provision, supernatural provision. May God meet you at the point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I love you all. And for this time, I say keep believing. Keep trusting God. He will never fail you. He will never allow you to be put to shame. Amen. Until next time, this is patience. Love you all. Bye-bye.